In this second part, we're going to discover how to work out whether a number is in a sequence or not. In part one, we looked at how to find the nth term rule, how to generate a sequence from the nth term rule, and how to find any term in a sequence. How do we answer this question? 730 isn't the term, so we can't put it in place of the n. We have to make the nth term rule equal to 730. Is 730 in this sequence? Then we just solve the equation. Because n has come out as a decimal, it means 730 is not in the sequence. Whereas, for this question, because 65 is a whole number, it means 265 is in the sequence. 265 is the 65th term in this sequence. So here are a couple of questions for you to do. Pause the video, answer them and click play when you're ready. How did you get on? And that's everything you need to know about arithmetic sequences. You can find the nth term rule, you can generate a sequence from the nth term rule, and you can find any term in a sequence. You can also work out if a number is in the sequence or not. If it's a whole number, then it is. If it's a decimal, it isn't. If you have any questions, please comment below. I'm here to help. Please like and share our videos with your friends.